So, I am 24 and I don't chase women. I got tired of being in a rat race. At about the age 18, I decided, and I was even in a relationship at the time, but I was still chasing girls because I'm 18. One is never enough for an 18 year old. I don't care what he tells you, he's chasing other women. But listen, I am 24 and I own several businesses. And now I'm at the point where I actually want a girl. You know what I'm saying? But this is what I did at 18 that fucked me when I'm 24. But financially, I'm great. But as far as girls, all of them are fake and superficial. Um, here's why. Because I decided I didn't want to chase women anymore at 18. So I basically made myself, over the course of these few years, I've made myself so busy and filled my schedule up so much that I legitimately can't chase girls anymore. Now I'm 24 and I'm in my prime physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, even though you shouldn't have that till you're 30, but we're talking about me. And it kind of sucks because now I don't have time to play the emotional game with the girl. Like I don't, I legitimately don't. If I was to take out time and try to figure a bitch out, I would legitimately be losing profit. But it's my fault because I made it to where I said, I don't want to chase girls anymore. I quit, this is at 18, quit watching porn, quit watching TV, stop watching entertaining shit and stuff. And when I would watch something that was entertaining, it was from a business perspective. Like how can, how, how, who is making profit off of the profit, off of the profit, off of the profit? Who's at the top? Not the nigga on the camera, not the nigga holding the camera, not the nigga getting paid to do the shoot, but who pays the person that pays the person that pays the person that pays the person? Pays the person? I want to be that guy. And that takes a lot of work. And now I am that guy, but I'm always, always busy. Meaning that I can't. I kind of understand why it can be depressing because, of course, I run looking. Literally, literally, like, take a look at me. Hold on. Like, bruh. I'm not. <laughs> anyway, I get females, obviously, but they all seem superficial. Because when you own, when you have so much in your bank account and a girl comes along out of the woodwork, especially one that you knew from your past, that looks so bad to you as that person. Cause you like, you're not fucking with me for me. You wasn't so attracted to me back in the gap that you wanted to fuck with me. You wasn't so taken aback by my personality that you wanted to fuck with me when I didn't have shit. Now all of a sudden I got this status. I'm in a house, I got money, I got the nice cars and shit. Now all of a sudden you so interested in you this and whoop the whoop. I don't, it's superficial to me. It don't seem real to me. The only way I would fuck with a chick on some heavy shit is if she caught me out the blue, like at a gym or something and I'm lifting weights and she just like, I couldn't help myself to come over here and say something to you. But it's 2020, bitches don't do that. Wop motherfucker, wet ass, you know what I'm saying? These nasty ass women out here don't do that anymore. Cause every simp in the world is just like, you want some uh, meat? So you know what I'm saying? When it comes to just actually meeting a genuine person, and I'm not a clubber. I'm not finna go to no club. I'm not finna go to no party type shit. I just wanna genuinely meet somebody somewhere. And I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? I don't have time to party in a club and all that. It's, this is the life that I have created for myself. And this is just a quick documentation of my 24 love life, I guess. It's like, it's kind of complicated, but it's simple. I think I'm going to upload this and send it to specific people to see if they could help me. I'm going to try not to send it to no girl. But literally, in the time that I have to make this, I could be on the phone with somebody right now, but this is business. This camera being on right now and you seeing me, like at the end of the day, there's profit behind this. You are not gonna see what happens to this, but trust me, some people are gonna pay to see what you're seeing right now. And then after I get all the profit together from that, then you'll see it like publicly, I'll put it out there and shit. 
but a lot of people don't even know how to do that. Like, you don't even know that everything you say, everything in your story, there's a company somewhere that want to document your life. Because if you can present your product good enough, how did this turn into business? I don't know, but we hear now. If you can present your product well enough, then someone will believe in you and they will have a lot of money and they'll put money in your pocket. I got my brother's back on my bike. I hear a motorcycle. Y'all wanna wait and see if that's him? I'm gonna take a swig at these noodles. I work out a lot. Sometimes I don't feel like cooking a whole meal. So. Whew. Oh, that's hidden. Oh, JJ. JJ, JJ blessed up. <coughs> Had to get that out. Sister Bentintino, that man, mwah. They're noodles. Delicioso. Um, I guess it's not him. Ay, 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 man. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy the, the life that I've molded for myself. It's a very lonely road. Stand up. KT. 